Is this the spicy pickle sour beer of our dreams? Or of our nightmares? It might be. <laughs> Welcome back to Drinking with Craig and Roger. I'm Craig. I'm Roger. Today I'm going to subject you to yet another <laughs> bizarre concoction uh, going right along with the glitter unicorn farts beer that we did in another video and tr transitioning into what's quickly becoming our novelty theme which is pickle things. Uh, you may remember we did the pickle moonshine jar. Yes and I, I pointed oof, out oof. that it wasn't very long before people figured out that if you stored oh, yeah. pickles in a barrel, it was not really good to use it for beer or wine afterwards because yeah. that would destroy the beer and wine. Exactly, but uh, you would have you'd be hard pressed to tell the fine people at Distill Brewery in Normal, Illinois, that because <laughs> they have made this spicy pickle sour beer. It's made with sucker punch pickle brine. So, um, without anything else, let's just open this up. That was very interesting. They got a black, entirely black top to the can. I hope that's not uh, indicative of what's inside. It it doesn't look to be. It's going to be a black, we wanted to black give it experience. <laughs> I wanted to give it the respect it deserves, so we're using these very good glasses to give it its. Oh God! <laughs> Smell it already. Did you want me to put more in mine? I, I don't know. There we go. There. How's that? Here, have a little bit more. Oh, thank you. You're so I don't generous. Think you're gonna, you're gonna so save this for that's me. very okay. generous of you. Yeah, okay. Now we're done. No, no, no none for you, Ellen. That's <laughs> that's the way it goes. <laughs> Uh, it's five and a half percent alcohol and there's really nothing else to say about it except that's what it's called and let's see how it smells and tastes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if I were going to have, you know, some dill pickles. Yeah. Some kosher dill pickles. Yeah. That would be what I would want to smell when I opened the jar. Yeah, that's, this is a legit jar of dill pickles. And that's what it smells like. It's a jar of dill pickles. Down the hatch. Mm -hmm. um, that's also pretty much what it tastes like. <laughs> it is a perfect reproduction of what dill pickles should taste like. How? Especially kosher dill pickles. That's what I'm thinking about. So this is really dickles, uh, uh, it's really kosher dills. Pickle spears, you know, in mm. a, a glass in liquid form. Yeah, um, that that about hits it. How did they get five and a half percent alcohol into this glass of pickle juice? I don't know. Let's Those... give it a second sip here. Maybe it's going to change. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my God, it's way more intense the second time. Wow. I taste. Tiny bit of sweetness in the finish. Okay, there might be a tiny bit of sweetness. Not much, and the the heat is starting to linger. You feeling that spice on the in the back of the throat? Well, yeah. I, I'm whatever sweetness was in this when it began has been turned into alcohol. Yeah, pretty much, except for a tiny, tiny little bit at the end. Wow, um, that's can, intense. All I can say is, you know, um, this it's salty. Yeah, this is sort wow. of like what would what you would get if you took a jar of dill pickles yeah. and you blended them into a puree and drained <laughs> off the liquid. Okay. That's about that's about the taste you would get. Okay, uh, Ellen, do you want to come try this and give a third opinion? Sure. All right. Here comes our blind tasting facilitator extraordinaire for a third opinion. Oh. <laughs> It smells like pickles. It smells like pickles. It's appropriately named. It is. Wow. It needs food. <laughs> what yes. kind of food? Barbecue, maybe? Might be good with barbecue. 
Um, you know, pickles are yeah great with hamburgers and Dill fries. Dill potato chips. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, even just some potato chips, like mm -hmm. potato chips in this beer, that might be good to get. It's a good combo. Cheese. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, I would pair it with. I this. like this. I like. Or even Limburger cheese. Chef. Yeah, this is not a drink by itself experience. Yeah. I think yeah, you put this with other things that you might have pickles with, uh, other food. Um, but if I were sitting at a bar or at a party and I was wanting to have a drink, this would not be it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But. By itself, I can't say this is a fantastic beer experience. Uh, well, it is something mm. unexpected, and it is, I think, fairly unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, unique says one of a kind, so there's only one in the world, but there might be somewhere else something sort of like this, but it's going to be hard to find it. It's going to be hard to find it. Um, it gets saltier and more vinegary every sip and smell for me. Um, it's a doozy. I, I, it, honestly, I don't think I would want to drink a whole can to myself <laughs> in one sitting. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, well, this mm -hmm. is the kind of can that See? you, you want to share with folks. Maybe about six friends getting about an ounce and a half a piece. <laughs> so this would be like you would use this in lieu of a pickleback to a shot. So I a pickleback, so. you know, like you take a shot, then you have a shot of pickle juice. You could use this, and you know, it's just a little bit more robust. More efficient. Pickleback. More efficient pickleback, <laughs> like to get you to where you want to be. <laughs> I like my pickles that crunch, you know, when you bite into them, you know, mm. instead of just sort of nothing. You can drink enough of it, you can fall over and smash your teeth out and have plenty of crunching going on. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, the, good lord, it, the smell is so pungent. <laughs> wow. Well, you got to give them credit. Mm -hmm. This is the closest thing to kosher dill pickles that you can get that really doesn't have actual pickle spears in it. You know. I think so. It's a so it's a goza. So the goza is already a salty style. Goza is like a sour, salty beer. Yeah. With pickle brine and coriander, which you're gonna find in pickles, I believe. Um, wow. Um, so, you know, I guess I would say uh, mission accomplished, Distill Brewery. Mission accomplished. You did it. You did it. That's about as much as we can say about that. So, so if you like what we're doing, yeah. don't forget to like and subscribe mm -hmm. so you find out whatever else we're going to come up with. Yeah. We don't really know ahead of time. We don't plan these things months in advance. No. So <laughs> there we are. With that, cheers. Cheers. That is really cheers. awful.